everyone, Marion here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have my top 10 list of best and worst luxury baby items for you guys. So for anyone out there who is planning the registry right now and trying to figure out which luxury items are worth it to splurge on and which you should pass on, I hope this video is helpful for you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Marion. I make videos about being a Jewish mom and I upload on Mondays and Thursdays. So I would love it if you subscribe by hitting the button down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Okay, so because I have two little boys, a three-year-old and a six-month-old, um, I have very recently gone through all of this like a baby buying stage as well as like registry and being given wonderful things. So I wanted to share that all with you guys. Also, because my second child was also a boy, we didn't really need too much stuff. So we were able to get some more of those bigger luxury items that we couldn't get the first time around because we just like needed every little thing. So I feel like I am a good person to judge on these items and let you know which ones are really worth the investment and which ones are not. Before we jump in, everything I talk about will be linked in the description box below, so just open that up if you wanna get any more information or see any more videos about the stuff I'm talking about. And for anyone who's been here, who's watched my videos, I want you to guess right now what my number one best recommended luxury baby item is. Put it down in the comments, we'll see if you're right. Any guesses? If you've been here, I'm sure you know. All right, let's jump in with the worst category. These are ones I would recommend avoiding. My number one on that list, are you ready for it? Is the Uppa Baby Vista Stroller. I know everyone buys a stroller. I feel like this is the most popular luxury baby stroller. And I believe with my whole heart that it's too heavy. It is just too heavy to use, especially when it's set up for two kids. So I am in that stage where everyone I know was having their second kid and every, like all my friends, you know, and everyone bought the Vista with their first kid thinking they'd have a second kid and it'd be great for when they have two kids. First of all, with their first kid, after the first like six months or so when you can no longer easily snap the baby in from their car seat into the stroller and you're like okay the baby's too heavy for that we're going to use it as a stroller they give it up and they start using an umbrella stroller and then by the time the second kid rolls around and they try setting it up for two once again as soon as they're out of that snap in and out with the car seat it just doesn't get used because it is just way too heavy and cumbersome. I know that there are people out there that love it, but I have said this before, when you're out and about and you see an Upper Baby Vista, notice how often it's being set up actually for two kids and if actually two kids are sitting in it. I just put that test out there for you guys. I just want you to watch and see. So that is my number one luxury baby item to avoid. But of course I do want to recommend a luxury baby stroller for you guys to invest in and I will be doing that later in this video. Okay, so my second worst baby item is the Stokey Trip Trap. So this is one I have wanted for years and years. With my older son, I was like, it's too expensive, we don't need it. With my younger son, I was like, yes, we're getting the Stokey. I was so, so excited. It is beautiful. I wanted it because I thought it would fit in with the aesthetic in our home and wouldn't stand out at this like chunky plastic high chair. And it does that. However, it does have a large footprint. Even though I would say it's visual footprint, footprint is small because you don't like notice it as much and it's really beautiful. Its actual footprint is quite large. It's easier to trip over. Um, but the thing I actually really don't like about it is with a little baby, so my son is six months old, we've been using it for about a month, it is very hard plastic, the part that he sits in, and of course hard wood, and he is not comfortable in it. I can see every time he moves and kind of like slips or bangs himself, he gets really unhappy. So because it doesn't have that nice cushioning and softness around him, he just won't stay in it for very long. I do have a high chair, luxury high chair to recommend, which I'll get to later in this video, and I like it so much more. But the Stokey, maybe with time, as he's an older toddler, um, I will come around to it. But for the newborn, or at least the first baby, stage I just don't think it's worth it my next luxury baby item that I put on my worst list is the dock tot oh I know I struggled putting this one on because I'm like it's just so pretty I do like it but I don't think it's worth the money so again this is something we got for our second baby we were so happy to be given it and I did love it but I would say the amount of time that you can use it for is very minimal. I think we gave it up probably at about three months. So that's a very short time for a $200 pillow. So again, if you can afford the investment, if you have tons of 
people to give you presents and you have money to spend on it, go for it. It was wonderful for those first three months. I loved having somewhere I could just move it around the house and put my baby in, especially in our home. We've got a lot of different levels and I have dogs, so I can't just like put him on the floor as a newborn baby. So this was really good for that. When I took a shower, I would put this on the floor in the bathroom so I could still see him. So it did have a lot of use. I think it's beautiful. It was very comfortable. He liked being in it. We took naps in it, only supervised naps, but because we don't use it for overtime, overtime, we don't use it for overnight sleep because it is not safe for that. It's not recommended for that here in the US. I just feel like you don't, it's not really, not really gonna get your money's worth. So if you have to pick one item to splurge on for a baby, I would not recommend the duct tie. Okay, so those are three worst. Let's jump into the best. I wanted to make this five and five and have it be even, but as I was preparing my list, I was like, I don't want to be artificially arbitrary about it. I honestly had three worst and six, seven. <laughs> and seven best, so I'm gonna share them with you guys. Okay, so first up on my best list is a jogging stroller. This is something I didn't have with my older son and we take walks all the time. I'm a stay-at-home mom and every day we go for a long stroller walk and having a jogging stroller just makes it so much easier, especially with two kids. Having those wheels like turning for you like a bicycle wheel does is just really nice and takes a lot of that load-bearing weight off of you. Um, we love our fill in head sports stroller it's one I don't see much of in the US it's a New Zealand company so I'd love to just talk about it let you guys know it's out there you can watch my full review down below I will link it for you guys it can automatically be set up with a bassinet and toddler seat and then it switches to two toddler seats it's super nice I freaking love it it is not a good portable slash travel stroller it's heavy but as a jogging stroller I like it a lot. Okay, then my next best luxury baby item is the Inglesina high chair. This is a travel high chair. We did not have this with my older son, but I had a lot of friends who use it, and I was like, I'm really interested in that. We actually waited to buy it until my older, my younger son, Corey, was about four or five months, and we were traveling, and I had nowhere to put him, and I didn't want to buy a um, like bouncer rocking chair kind of thing because he never liked those things. So I was like, why don't I get a portable high chair? It's very comfy and cozy. Maybe he'll just sit in it like while we're walking around the house, and then we can take it out to meals with us because we're on vacation. I thought even if he just uses it at meals, it'll be fine. He ended up loving it and was really happy to sit in it even if we weren't like having a meal. So right now I have it set up on my kitchen island, so it's great because whenever I'm cooking or cleaning I pop him in there sometimes I put snacks sometimes I just put toys and he's really happy to sit in it and it's great because it's also a travel high chair high chairs at restaurants are really gross they're often like covered in who knows what so having your own high chair is great okay my next luxury baby item is a really surprising one and it is this it is an infant scale. This is totally a splurge luxury item, but if you have a baby who's underweight and you're nursing, it is really, really nice because it's, act first of all, it's got this like baby seat thing. It also pops off and can just be a normal scale. So for me, that was a great peace of mind to be able to see and just to track him. Like I would weigh him once a week or so to make sure he was gaining enough. And if I was someone who would like constantly be weighing him every day, that would be really bad. In fact, a lot of pediatricians and like Lactation consultants will advise you against getting one of those so that you don't become that paranoid mom that's weighing their kid every day. But if it's used responsibly and you need it, an infant scale, I think it's definitely worth the splurge. Okay, my next baby item to recommend is this. This is the Wild Bird Ring Sling. Every time I post a photo or me wearing this in a video, I get tons of comments asking me where it's from. It's the brand Wild Bird. I'll link it for you guys. It's so nice. The reason I say this is a luxury item, well, first of all, it's like 80 bucks, but also so I don't think it's that useful as your kid is older, but for the infant stage, like four months and under, I wore this every single day. I wore it around the house with my son. He took tons of naps in it. He was cozy and warm next to me and he absolutely loved it. So my Ergo 360, I don't even put that as a luxury item. That is an absolute necessity. I'm a huge baby wearing mama, so you need something like that if you're gonna baby wear it long term. But for the infant stage, a ring sling is so nice because you don't have to wrap it and tie it and figure it out. Out, you just put the baby in, 
pull this and you're good to go. Okay, my next luxury baby item that I absolutely love is kind of a little hodgepodge and it is winter stuff, but this is winter stuff I think you should really splurge on if you live in a cold climate. I live on the East Coast near Washington DC, so for me this was really necessary. This is a 7 a.m. Enfant um, high chair. This is a car seat cover. So when you have a little baby or even as a toddler, you should never put them in a car seat with a winter coat. I can link a video for you guys about why that is and how dangerous that is, but you shouldn't do that. If you put a blanket on a little baby, I'm always nervous that it's like gonna come up on their face and if I'm driving and I can't see them or access them, that just makes me nervous. So I love this little car seat cover. It's got elastic, you literally just slip it over. It's so easy and it keeps them snuggly warm. So it's expensive, but if you live in a cold climate, I think it's really worth the splurge. Speaking of which, I'm grouping this all in the same category. If you live in a cold climate, I really, really recommend a stroller muff. This is the Uppa Baby one. It fits on the Cruise and the Vista, and it's really nice and warm. And a blanket with a toddler or a baby, they just kick it off. It's really hard to keep it on them. And because it doesn't enclose them all the way, they get cold from the bottom. So if you're in a cold climate, a stroller muff, I think is really worth it. And the last item I wanna recommend winter related is this. This is actually for the mamas. It is a hand warmer. Um, my mother-in-law got these for me. I didn't even know this thing existed. It's also by that same brand, 7 a.m. and Font. If you're a stroller walker and you're in a cold climate, this is so nice. It's so much warmer than gloves. You just keep it attached to the stroller and slide your hand in. It is the best. Okay, we have reached the top two luxury baby items that I recommend. My number two is the Uppa Baby Cruise. So I love the Uppa Baby Cruise stroller. It's everything I like about the Uppa Baby Vista without everything I hated. What did I hate? That it was too heavy. The Cruise is not too heavy. I think it's the perfect weight. It holds the perfect amount. It's so easy to snap and go. I have a video showing me unboxing it for the first time. It has been six months now and we are loving it. We use it with the kickstand so my older son, who's three, just stands on it. He's been doing that since he was two and a half. He loves it. I don't have to strap him in and worry about him. He is just so good with the kickboard stand thingy. And I love the Uppa Baby stroller. It clicks in with the car seat just like the Vista does, but it's just nice and easy to use. The only thing is the basket is not as big, but it's still huge. It's totally fine. I love my cruise. I definitely recommend it. And my last baby item, we reached number one. Anyone who's watched my channel for a little while probably knows it. Can you guess it? Put in the comments if you guessed it. It's the snoo, of course it's the snoo. The ultimate luxury baby item, the snoo is a bassinet that automatically rocks your child to sleep. The motion is like this, that's why I'm always like, it rocks your kid to sleep. Um, it has a sound machine as part of it. As the baby cries more, it rocks more. It does not replace a parent. People are like, what? You don't take care of your baby, you just pop them in the snoo. No, it just settles them a little bit to help them fall asleep. It is so nice. It made all the difference in the world to us and allowed me to sleep as a new mom or a second time mom, and it was just fantastic. We actually just recently sold ours through Craigslist, so I got almost all the money back that we paid for it because we bought it on sale and then sold it. So, so in the end, I probably spent $100 on it altogether, so it really wasn't a luxury purchase, but um, it was so, so amazing. Can't recommend it enough. I will link all my videos down below if you're interested in learning more about this new. And that's it, that's all I got for you guys. Those are my top 10 best and worst luxury baby items. If anyone out there is filling out your registry and have any more questions, let me know. I'd love to help answer them for you in the comments. I'll see you in the next one, bye.